Welcome for a mathematics lesson. We're going to discuss collinearity and parallel vectors. We are given in a question 15 here that uh, three points are such that A is 4, 8, B is 7, C, we have 16, 5. Express A, B and B, C as column vectors and show that the points A, B and C are collinear. So to show that a uh, points are collinear then we have to express two of their vectors as column vectors then you prove that such vectors are parallel such vectors are parallel and for this case we are we are given the vectors to express so the examiner has chosen the vectors for us vector a b is going to be given by b minus a this is to mean that i will take these coordinates and i express them as column vectors to mean that 8 7 then 4 8 and this is going to give us 4 and this is going to be negative 1 so a b is 4 negative 1. The other one is going to be BC according to the direction. So I will take C minus B. So C is going to be 16, 5. This is the column vector of coordinate C. Then B as seen is 8, 7. This is going to give us this is going to give us 8. This is going to give us a negative 2 so this is the other vector now we have expressed two vectors as column vectors the other thing will be showing that the two vectors are parallel to one another for two vectors to be parallel then one has to be a scalar multiple of the other so if we say that a certain constant multiplies a b to give us vector bc then we can confirm whether there is a common scalar multiple between the two whereby we will say c times a b which is 4 negative 1 to give us bc which is 8 negative 2 therefore when i confirm here i can use the x components whereby 4 k equals to 8 and this interprets k as 2 also following the y components negative k is equivalent to negative 2 meaning that k is equal to 2 this is to mean that uh, the vector bc is equivalent to 2 the vector ab and now that <clears throat> This vector can be expressed as a scalar multiple of the other, whereby this expression of half BC equals to AB will mean the same. It means now that uh, BC and AB are parallel. Therefore, BC is parallel to AB now that there is a scalar multiple between the two. And... We should also note that uh, there is a common point, which is B. B is a, is a common point. Hence, A, B, and C are what you call collinear points. They are collinear. They are collinear points. Therefore, for points to be collinear, two vectors have to be parallel and sharing a common point. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.